Buenas tardes. Soy la nueva directora senior para Latinoamérica del Foro Económico Mundial. The World Economic Forum. And it is an honor and a privilege for me to be able to introduce the president of Colombia, Álvaro Uribe Vélez, who will be closing the activity of the World Economic Forum, the regional one that we has, which has been so successful in Cartagena. On behalf of the forum, I would like to thank you once again, Mr. President, for your leadership, for your personal involvement. It has been a determining factor in the national and international success of this very important event that has made it possible for the World Economic Forum to be a showcase of Colombia vis a -vis the world. I would like to once again thank Ms. Nuestra Plata, um, Maria Elvira Pombo, and Jaime Bermudez, the Foreign Minister of Colombia, who was unable to be with us today. Mr. President, you have the floor. Thank you, Marisol. On behalf of all Colombians, I would like to reiterate our thanks to uh, the World Economic Forum for having allowed Colombia to hold this meeting, the first that has been held in our country in the 40 years of existence of the Forum. I would like to extend our thanks to all the visitors, all the allies of the Forum, the press, the international and national press for their coverage and their presence. I would like to also thank my colleagues in the government who, headed by Minister Plata, by Maria Elvira Borma and Latina Suarez, have carried out their task in an excellent manner, and I would like with, to, with affection, with immense effect, I would like to thank my fellow countrymen of Cartagena for their warmth, their kindness, and the way in which they have hosted this meeting and have received all those who came to this forum. I give the floor to our colleagues and friends of the press who are here with us so that they may ask their questions. I would like to ask you, in view of the time that we have, to really focus on questions that have to do with the forum so that the president can reply to your questions with regard to domestic issues in Colombia or particular, those that are of particular interest to Colombia. Good afternoon, Susana Bam, El Comercio from Peru. I would like to ask the president to tell us what is the most important thing that Latin America has been able to achieve through this forum. The opportunity that the whole world can look at Latin America to perceive how Latin America defended itself very well from the crisis and is quickly recovering. And also to be aware of the challenges that Latin America is facing. And as Don Marisol has said, this forum is a very important showcase for Colombia. And this is why we are thankful. As a showcase, this forum has enabled us to show all the conditions for the investment of promotion that has been created in Colombia with a rate of 25.8% investment rate in the midst of the crisis, had the highest level of investment both in the public and private sector of Colombia. Invest is investment an end in itself? It is not. It is a medium. What is the purpose? To build equity and to overcome poverty without investment, this is impossible. In the case of Colombia, if there is no investment or investment leaves Colombia, who suffer? the poor, because the money in the country leaves if there is no investment opportunity for the poor when money does not come into Colombia. Those who have money can invest their money anywhere, but the poor are here. So it's very important for us to always think of investment as a medium for, to achieve a purpose, which is to overcome poverty and to build equity. This is why we're speaking of investment with social responsibility, with respect for the environment, with fraternity in labor relationships without 
savage capitalism, with the notion that capital is not for speculation, but rather it is an element to build social wealth. This is why we are grateful. This gives us an opportunity. And we have seen in Cartagena the progress and challenges for Colombia. There are progress and security, and there are challenges. We have just had uh, a certain investment rate during many years, but we have to project this for the future. There is progress in social issues. There are much progress in child nutrition in Cartagena and in other areas, but we still have to look at other aspects. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. President. I'm from Hong Kong. So uh, I would like to know um, what improvement or what kind of improvement do you expect uh, or do you want from the, uh, for the Chi Chinese and Colombia relations? I mean, no matter trade or diplomacy or whatever. And in terms of the, uh, the trade relations with, with China, uh, in the forum, I, uh, I heard quite a lot about some people in the Latin American, well, they fear that the Chinese competition from uh, or manufacturing goods from uh, China. So, uh, what do you think, uh, and what do you think, uh, what's your opinion on this uh, um, ideas, and uh, do you think China would be a threat rather than op opportunity to Latin America economy? Thank you. At, at first glance, China appears such a, uh, a threat because uh, China, China has the capacity to compete, for instance, in basic manufacture with uh, low prices. But in the long term, China for Colombia is a great opportunity. In between the year 2004 and the year 2008, we negotiated the uh, agreement of investment promotion with China. Uh, we signed this agreement in the Pacific Summit in, uh, in Lima uh, at, the, at the end of the year 2008. And uh, this agreement is now in place. Some Chinese investors have come to Colombia. When you look at our basket uh, for exports, at this moment, Colombia has not many possibilities to success in the, in the Chinese market. For in these in this years, what is most important for us in these bilateral relations is the possibility that Chinese people invest in Colombia. And we have already received the first Chinese investments in our country. Of course, we, we want these investments to uh, move faster. But uh, it, it is very important for us, the relationship with, with China. Of course, uh, we have um, concerns in, in, the, in, in some industries, in apparels, in, in, in the industry of calzado, uh, um, footwear. Mm, mm, textiles, apparels, in, in, in this uh, in this in industry, the Chinese competition is uh, is very uh, is very hard. The trade dynamics for Colombia with China dramatically, as with a with a widened canal. Uh, most of the products that Colombia has in the northern coast and the, in the Caribbean coast, such as coal, such as nickel, will have access in a much more easy and competitive way to the Chinese and Indian markets in the future. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Juan Carlos Aguirre from TNN24. The political issue at this time is very important in this economic form. I would like to know what the explanation of what you were saying, if we were, you were speaking about plebiscite communism, and you were saying that this endangered democracy in the region. This, this, this di has to do directly with President Hugo Chavez. What has been the response on the part of the Venezuelan government with regard to the protest letter that you said regarding the detainees in Venezuela? And there was a commitment by the Vice President to mediate in this. We'll see how our foreign office can move ahead in this. We are all concerned concerned about the citizens that live beyond our borders. Colombia is completely respectful of the rights of all foreigners who live here fully. 
and we are asking the same treatment for our Colombian citizens who live in other countries. This with regard to that point. I've been very worried about plebiscite communism. We'll speak about democratic values later. Good afternoon, Mr. President. I wanted to know what your opinion is with regard to the decision of the prosecutor to leave Mr. Granda, to release Mr. Granda. Then he was arrested. The fact is that you know that this is a country of institution, we have to respect the decisions of justice. And this honors Colombian democracy because when we're speaking about modern democracies, it is very important to take this into account. That of the independent of constitutions that comprise the state. This is one of the characteristics of modern democracy, which is in contrast with regimes that collapsed and which unfortunately, and we hope that these won't be revived. The other four elements for modern democracy are security. This is a democratic value. It is a source of resources. The truth is that for the world, it is a very risky that countries will maintain an arms race and neglect their own domestic issues of insecurity. This is a huge risk. The other issue has to do with freedoms, and that includes political rights, civil guarantees, freedom of the press, freedom of initiative, of entrepreneurship. In old regimes that collapsed in Eastern Germany and the ex-Soviet Union and China before Deng Xiaoping, this regime showed that what is required is private initiative to provide well-being. When there is private initiative, prosperity flowers, and creativity as well, when there is private initiative, People feel encouraged. They won't be just lie down. When this exists, research moves ahead very quickly. When private initiative is hindered, there is a loss of the roads that lead us to have quality of life. This is a very important element. We have spoken about democratic, that the modern democracy with independent institutions. This doesn't mean that they can't act on their own. People think that the independence of institution excludes agreements, concertation among them. There is also harmonic development. It also has to do with democratic constitutions. The other very important issue is that of social cohesion. Freedoms, liberties are removed in order to achieve better levels of social cohesion in democracies. In democracy, it has to be a cohesion achieved through persuasion, through adhesion, and not under repression. It is very important. Colombia, throughout all these years, has combated terrorism, but it has been very respectful of individual freedoms. We have combated terrorism, and there has been an absence of repression. I think that we must underline this now that we are closing the World Economic Forum in Cartagena. There has been a combat against terrorism, very firmly so, and an absence of repression in totalitarian regimes. Very often, there is a process terrorism prospers, and instead of having security, what there is is repression. Here we've had freedoms and absence of repression. At the same time, we have provided security. This is why our security program is called democratic security. There is another element that distinguishes this at present is the level of citizen participation. This country is very proud of the level of citizen participation. Why is this so important for us, the level of citizen participation? Because this is the best guarantee of transparency. There are several controls that have been developed throughout this process of the construction of the rule of law. 
One control is the legislative control, another is the disciplinary control, which is carried out by an independent body of the state. The other control is that of the judges, of the prosecutors. Another control is that of the management of the resource of the state, which is also managed by independent bodies. But the best control of all, the most important, the source of everything, is the control by opinion. And this ensures transparency, confidence, which is an element that brings together everything else. And this requires the participation of opinion. The participation of opinion is rejected when there is repression and is facilitated when there is security as a democratic value. I am not pointing to him so that he will ask more questions. I would just like to know if there is a specific question with regard to the World Economic Forum. Otherwise, we will conclude the conference, and subsequently, the President will decide if he will address other issues. I must have you all exhausted. <laughs> I have spoken a lot during these two days. <laughs> We will just ha take two more questions. At least two questions, and with that, we will close this meeting. Please be brief. Rodolfo Mejia from Colmundo Radio Televisa. It was very nice to see how the president of the World Economic Forum came addressed. Cartagena in Colombia, and also to see how many entrepreneurs said the same thing about Cartagena in Colombia. There is a good environment for investment in Colombia, and you ratify that in your speech, and you have done so again here. Is there any any business that was transacted during this meeting? Colombia had 12 and to 14 percent rate of investment. They were exceptional years. Uh, reached 16, but in the last four years, Colombia has had an investment rate over 25 percent, nearly 28 percent. Last year, it was the highest in the region. What is important now is to preserve this, to strengthen it, because an investment rate in a very short period does not produce the social results that are expected. China has a very high rate of investment in the last 20, 22 years. It's a long period with investment of 60, 55, 77 billion dollars a year, and they have been able to eradicate poverty from 400 million people. So that investment rate really needs fraternity and it requires time. This has to continue year after year in order to maintain, to ensure this process, which is that of solving poverty and building equity. So this opportunity that has been granted to us by the World Economic Forum, which my colleagues in the government and the citizens in Cartagena have responded very well to, this is a major opportunity so that the world will continue to consider Colombia as they have been in the, in the top row in the eye of destinations. Um, Vice Minister Plata and Oscar Rueda gave me this figure. Last year, we had this huge crisis of the economy. The income from 2,400,000 to 2008 to more than 260 in 2009. And you can see that it's very important. This morning, while we were See how to continue the discussions here. We were also seeing that into the bay a tourism ship was coming. This allows Cartagena to receive from these cruises from the Caribbean 380,000 tourists, 120,000 crew. These are 500,000 tourists that descend from the ships. They have a very short stay in Cartagena, but this gives a good name to the country. It helps all those who are involved in the tourist trade. It's a big help. 
So we can see these trends very enthusiastically, but these are uh, fledgling tendencies. This is why you understand me, Rodolfo. We have to be very careful and care very much about these trends and to keep the route, to not abandon it. We have to improve it, but not abandon it. I think you understand me, although you were looking above Dr. Fidel. In view of the time, we must close this press conference, but I would like once again to reiterate on behalf of the World Economic Forum, the international recognition with regard to confidence in Colombia and the appropriateness of public policy that have made it possible for Colombia to be what it is now. We congratulate you, President, and your cabinet. Thank you, Marisol. And through you by Professor Schwab and his wife, Emilio, and all those of the World Economic Forum, I would like to extend my thanks to all of them. And I would like Minister Pla to tell us what do you think is the best legacy that this forum has left for the country? I think that there is no doubt. It is that a place in Colombia and the radar of investors, tourists, and business throughout the world. You were asking about some concrete aspect. This is not a macro round of business. And we very often we see other results. But here we're looking at something that is broader and more extensive. It is how. Colombia can close this gap between the reality and perception. The reality has improved, but perception has not yet done so. And through events such as this, we're showing the world what the Colombian reality is. We had 550 world leaders in businesses, in economy, in of the media. And these are people who will return to their country, who will speak about Colombia, will tell others what they saw, and they will talk about Cartagena, and will talk about the discussions in the forum. They'll speak about last night's events. They will speak of President Uribe, of the government, of the Colombian economy. And when they go to their boards with their friends and others, and they were asked, did you go to Colombia? Yes, I was in Colombia, and it's a wonderful place where the only risk is that you will want to remain there. Distinguished media members, those of you who have come for the first time to Colombia, have you come, had you been to in Colombia before? Who came here for the first time? This is, please raise your hands, those who are here for the first time. I would like for you to give us a testimony. For first time, uh, uh, have come to Colombia. And any of you wants to to give a testimony uh, about your perception, what uh, you have seen along these these two days? As I commented on this a couple of days ago, I am from a media in Spain. Yes, this is the first time I have been in Colombia, and concretely to Cartagena. And I feel that what Minister Guillermo has said, I have been very much surprised by the kindness of people, their warmth in Cartagena. And what most struck my attention is security. I was somewhat afraid when I was coming to Colombia, and I said, I don't know if I want to come back. This is the kind of fear that we have in Spain. But my opinion is that it has been a wonderful experience, one that should be repeated. One of the meetings that we had today is with the medical director of the John Hopkins Hospital in the U.S. Do you know what he said? That he very much admired how Colombians smile. Colombia is a country that has suffered so much. However, it's their citizens are spontaneous. They have shown no bitterness. This is wonderful. And I was very much impressed by this when I heard the medical director of such an important hospital to say that the people in Colombia are spontaneous, that they're joyful, that the pain of their suffering have not made them bitter. Would you accept being an ambassador of Colombia in the European community? Please help us. The lady who came for the first time to Colombia, would you like to say something?
Germany, you know, the from Germany, from Germany, the country that never smiles but works a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we we work smiling. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what I figured. No, and um, I just can confirm what the Spanish colleague said. And at the presidential panel, you you had a wish, and this was that we would become ambassadors. So um, I can only say you've got a new ambassador in Frankfurt now. So thank you very much. Therefore, we, we can uh, count with you as our ambassador yes. in Germany. Yes. Thank you. Come again. I will. I invite <laughs> your relatives, okay. your colleagues in journalism. Thank you. And okay. sir, you? Uh, pues estoy I am French. Uh, I have only worked here in the hotel, so I don't really have a precise image of the country, but it is true that people seem to be very relaxed. And no, I have, a, I have pondered on this. Uh, <laughs> happy, happy, yes, happy. This is it. It's very important for the lady from Germany. Here they tell me that who prepares the food in the restaurant is not happy. I would like to eat that food. If someone tells me that who manufactures the shirt doesn't love, I wouldn't like to wear the shirt. To bring happiness and a smile to work is something that is very important because the discharging of your tasks becomes something that is positive. This has to be done with love, and a smile is an expression that things that are difficult are being done with love. Is there something else? <laughs> no, no. Um, Nosotros somos felices para we are happy so that you will have a wonderful time here and be relaxed. What I think is that there's a, some, a parallel that can be established with a country in Africa, which is Ghana, which has also grown significantly. And we see that there is a difference between Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, which is not the same thing. And it seems to me that here, it's the same way to develop. We in France have an image of Colombia uh, with regard to Ms. Betancourt, this is a very long, uh, old his history, but this is the image that people have about Ingrid Betancourt. And this is why I've seen that things have changed significantly because of that image. And how do they feel there about Mrs. Betancourt's rescue? I really don't know. I can't say anything at this time. The, the French were very generous when they asked us to make every single effort to rescue her. And don't forget us after the rescue. Convey this message there. I will. I will do that. He is now being tested. He has a test period so that he can become an ambassador. Dear friends, thank you very much to all of you.